So finishing up our study from earlier with uh, Matthew chapter five, the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount. So Jesus is desiring for us to just have a different perspective on how we view the way we're called to live life as followers of him. And, you know, when I, when I again, think about revival and I think about revival experiences and, and encounters that people have, and I've been in many corporate environments where, you know, there's laughter and there's joy and there's all kinds of supernatural experiences going on but let me share this with you if on the other side of those experiences there is not change there's not transformation then that revival experience was nothing more than a religious experience if you do not have a kind of change in your thought process and you still think in a certain manner and way that jesus is clearly saying thoughts can be things that can be contrived as murderous and as adulterous. And if we don't desire to pray and love on those who don't love on us, then any kind of revival experience just becomes some sort of emotional encounter instead of one where it's a true encounter with the Father that's long lasting and it changes who you are. So that's his desire. That's what he wants to see from us. And I think that type of culture being established is what is the kind of culture that can lead to the kind of awakening that's going to change generations and change a nation. And so I just challenge you with that today to take Matthew 5 and to really embed that into the way you live your life and to uh, just be challenged by what Jesus desires us to do today in terms of taking the way we live our walk out to the next level. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel here and to uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, email us with any questions you may have, info at fireataction.com. Our logo is done, our website's coming soon, and we look forward to coming to a school near you, a campus near you, and an opportunity near you to share the Father's heart and to uh, just talk to you and encourage you towards this mindset of an evangelistic movement towards generational revival. God bless and have a great day.